Hey guys, Mirhud here, coming to you today from the Broke Rock server, but this is actually my tutorial video. So I told you guys a while back that after I made this stable and I made the hidden entrance, that I would make a tutorial on how I did it. So let me just show you how it works real quick. You take this barrel here. It's a very unassuming barrel. It has random items in it, but as soon as you add a specific item, now for me it's a piece of stone, but you can make it, you know, any other item that you want, that you have a lot of. Uh, you can have it be a piece of paper that you've named, you know, whatever you want. As soon as you throw that in, boom, your hidden entrance opens up. Oop, almost went back up the ladder. And this could be a hidden entrance going down. It could go to a double, you know, piston extender for a door, you know, whatever you want. And then you come down here, you take the item out, closes up, you put the item back in, and it opens back up. Now I'll show you a couple of different things you could do with this. Once we get over to my tutorial world, so I'll show you how to make it. Again, you can hit it from the outside, from the inside, shuts it right back up. So, in just one second, I'll be over my tutorial world and we'll build it together. All right, folks, here we are in my secondary Redstone tutorial world. And I've gone ahead and created a little mock-up of something close to what you should be working with, okay? You need a little room, you need a corner, okay? And that's exactly what I did with my, uh, my stable. And I went ahead and put hay bales on the outside to conceal any redstone that was would have been visible, okay? So jumping right into it, you're gonna need building blocks of your choice. You're gonna need two barrels, two hoppers, two comparators, two torches, two repeaters, six pieces of redstone, one sticky piston, and four named items. I usually use sticks because they're cheap. Now go ahead and go into the corner and knock out this block right here and we're gonna go ahead and put a hopper facing into the block behind it okay now real quick i'm going to tell you why i use barrels instead of chests okay i'm kind of in love with barrels so if i put a barrel down you can't see that anything is underneath it okay it takes up the entire square okay but if you say used a chest so let's go ahead and swap that out for a chest look what happens with the chest you get that that dark gray outline right behind it, which or underneath it rather, which lets everybody know that something is there, so they know to kind of look there. So let's go back to our barrel and throw the barrel down. See? You don't see anything. So we're going to come on, go ahead behind, and then two blocks underneath this hopper, however you guys set it up in your world, the second block needs to be a barrel, okay? And then on top of that barrel, you're going to crouch place a hopper. So it'll look like this. The top hopper is going straight back. The hopper below it is going straight down feeding this barrel. Okay? Now, behind this hopper right here, we're going to go ahead and throw three pieces of stone. And what we're going to build right here is going to be a single slice of a sorting system. So underneath the middle, you're going to put a block right there. You're going to skip a block, but we're going to replace it with stone. Because again, endermen are cruel and they can pick up all kinds of dirt blocks and grass blocks, and then a block right behind that. Now we need a comparator, so I'm gonna knock these two blocks out here just so I can kind of wiggle myself in a position to put the comparator down. Then we can go ahead and put these blocks back, okay? Behind the comparator, you're gonna put one, two, three pieces of redstone. And then going back towards the hopper and barrel, you're gonna go ahead and put your repeater on its one tick delay, going into a block with a torch. Now in that hopper, you're gonna go ahead and throw four named items. It could be sticks, it could be whatever. Three, four. And at least 42 of whatever you're gonna use as your key. Could be stone, could be a named piece of paper with the word pass written on it or whatever you wanna write on it. But you need 42. 41 for that hopper, and then one will drop down to the hopper below it. Anything else you put in will drop into the barrel, okay? We'll go ahead and test that out, make sure we did everything correctly. Perfect. Make sure nothing else can go down. So we'll throw this coal. And it stays right there. Perfect. So now we need to work on our entrance. Now I'm going to do this exactly the way I did it in the Broke Rock server. So directly in front of this barrel, we're going to knock that block out right there. And then we should... Yeah, so we're going to knock the block out right below it. Or beside it. <laughs> And then we're gonna go ahead and put a sticky piston with a block on its face. 
So now that's what it looks like in the open position. And when it closes, it's going to push that block forward and you won't be able to see anything. Okay. So directly, we can go ahead and knock this block out. Underneath this piston, two blocks, we're going to put one block right there. You know, go ahead and put a resistance torch on it and that will close your system. Perfect. And then out of this barrel, we're going to take a comparator signal and we're going to push that into a block with a repeater coming out of it. And that's needed because depending on what item you're using, you're not going to have enough redstone signal to do this little loop right here. Perfect. So now when there's a piece of, well, anything in here, the comparator takes the signal, pushes into the block with the repeater, and the redstone loop comes around and powers this block, which turns off the torch. And if you've done it right, you can reach right on in there and pull the item. Oop, that was the hopper. Pull the item right back out. Perfect. And you can put it in and you can take it out. Now I'm going to show you guys something else that you can use. And if I can remember where that is. Scroll down. Okay, perfect. Okay. So there's another way to do this, which you guys might find interesting. I do. I've used it before. Instead of using a barrel, you, probably, you guys probably saw when I had my inventory, you can use a furnace. Let me show you how this works. It's, it's really quite cool. The furnace does take up the entire square, so you can't see the hopper underneath it. And we're going to go ahead and throw in our coal, which will do nothing. You know, and it's not going to get sucked out because, again, we have the sorting system underneath. It's only going to take stone, but if you smelt the cobblestone, cobblestone turns into stone, right? And again, you can make that anything that's smeltable, okay? So you can make, you can make your, your sorting system holding smooth stone, <laughs> and you put regular stone in there, so it smelts as, you know, and opens up the door. So I love that, and it works the same way. You can reach right in, take it right back out, okay? And you can have this go down as far as you want. I have, I think, you know, three or four ladders, but I can hit this from the inside, I can hit it from the outside. And of course, you can open from the inside, you can open from the outside just by putting an item in. So guys, if you like this video, please do hit like and subscribe. And if you want to get notified every time I come up with a new video, be it Nevercraft, Broke Rock, or Redstone, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.